these things that we're seeing with the service delivery protests, these things that we're seeing with fees must fall, I don't think we appreciate as South Africans how much at an edge we were. All right? Think about it this way. Alexandra is already beginning to organize. If Alexandra decides to organize with Tembisa, with Soweto, with Katle Hong, and they decide one afternoon, we are putting ties across the highways, none of us guys are getting out. None of us. Black, Indian, white, or colored, I don't care. The only ones that are getting out are the top 0.1% in this country that have access to helicopters that will go to their private jets and get out of the country. The rest of us will try to drive out. We are screwed. So this is the urgency of doing this work for me. To say those that get it within the organizations, those that get it within the education space, those that get it within their communities, we need to realize that we are those leaders that need to begin to engage now to ensure that this anger does not turn into violence, but rather it can be put in a way that is very constructive in taking us forward. Um, uh, on a more sort of microcosm level, just as a parent, yeah. uh, as you mentioned, talking about race with my, I mean, my four-year-old ran through the shops yesterday and said, Mom, oh, the brown man said such and such and such and such. Yes. Which I thought was quite a good thing that she said brown, because I'd said it's not, a person's not black, because if you look at their colouring, it's not black, <laughs> it's brown, and we're yeah. sort of pinkish. Uh -huh. But what, I mean... What happened for you in that moment? <laughs> she said it in front of another brown man in front of, at, at clicks at the teller, and I was just like... <laughs> 